Go Cloud Architect family. I'm Cloud Hired. Hi, my name is Joe Million um, in Nashville, Tennessee, originally from Montreal, Canada. I started the Go Cloud Architect program in September of 2021. Hey, Go Cloud Architect family, I'm Cloud Hired. Yeah, so in my new role, I focus on, uh, on the public sector channels, uh, which are public sector partners that serves AWS customers. So those partners themselves are either early uh, in their cloud journey or their cloud practice. So I'm there to help them to uh, either build their practice um, so they can serve customers for, uh, for AWS customers, but as well as uh, uh, doing partner enablement. Some of those partners need training themselves, whether it's learning about cloud, cloud architecture, uh, whether it's them trying to get their certifications, uh, whether it's the practitioner, the associates, or those, uh, or the solutions architect professionals, their their own architects, they need guidance or they need other uh, solution architect like myself to help them through that journey. So it's a it's it's a whole enablement and development of partners in the public sector space for AWS, and uh, and those partners themselves are directly serving uh, end customers, their end, end customers, and build their practice with whatever services or solutions that they're they're selling or co-selling with their AWS. Sure. Prior to joining the Go Cloud Architect, I was working for another Fortune 500 uh, tech company, um, mainly based on hardware um, versus uh, cloud technology. I've worked uh, there for 13 years. I had a um, variety of roles from um, pre-sales to sales to um, <clears throat> back office, uh, but my, but I, what I enjoyed the most was uh, the, just the consultancy aspect of uh, fixing customers' problems, proposed solutions, and being the uh, the technology advocate for, for the customers and their partners. Yeah, so uh, in my previous role, we were hardware sales, whether it's compute, uh, data center sales, so as cloud started being more prominent is uh, we were fighting upstream. So it was like fighting to keep customers going to the cloud because that definitely would impact our bottom line, our business. And uh, as I took some time to think about it, you know, and saw the benefits that cloud offers the customer, both from costs and agility perspective, I definitely wanted to be on the side of what's new, what's better, what's more cost effective and what's gonna give the customer the most value. So that attracted me to um, learn more about cloud solutions and cloud technology. And that's the reason that I started looking for courses and programs that would give me the education I would need to make the transition from a uh, hardware-based uh, employer to a much more cloud-centric or cloud-native employer. I was looking to get some certifications on on cloud uh, and Amazon being the 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 largest cloud, the public cloud vendor. So I was looking to look at uh, some certification on Amazon, and I wasn't sure even where to start. I mean, I've had certifications on other uh, from other vendors before, but with Amazon being in cloud, I need I was just looking for something. And I saw different programs. And I've tried a couple too, but um, nothing seems to kind of give me the the holistic um, um, content that I was looking for. So I stumbled uh, on YouTube on one of Mike's video, and it just instantly clicked with me because just the ease of uh, of his presentation. And come to find out, he had almost similar path to to myself because we worked for a similar employer in the past. So that definitely helped make the connection. Uh, seeing somebody that knew exactly, okay, what it is to come from a hardware manufacturer that's selling hardware-based solutions to now talking about cloud and being more architectural uh, and concept, but not just focus so much on the technology. Uh, 
but focus on what is it that those employers are looking for uh, to get in, in, into these roles. So focusing on the soft skills, executive presence, presentation, discoveries, and all these analytical skills. So uh, when I saw the, 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 the training on YouTube, uh, I just kept on looking for more content and I ended up looking for uh, for the website because uh, uh, I guess he made a mention of it on one of his training videos and uh, I, I instantly signed up and uh, it was probably the best decision I did. Uh, what makes this program different from other programs is the the program doesn't um, prepare you just to pass a certification. It's preparing you to be successful on the role once you get the job. So it, it's basically giving you what is the day in the life of a, a solutions architect or a cloud architect. So that was important to me because I always wanted to be the best of what I do. I didn't want to just pass a certification and had no real world experience of what it was like. So the way the content was presented, the way uh, the training um, is uh, is ran. It, it gives you the it gives you the hands-on approach or the hands-on experience. Whether you're talking to a director of IT or a CIO or a CEO, knowing exactly at how to speak at those different levels, the different uh, different tiers, uh, and to make you a holistic uh, architect, and as well as focusing uh, on the other aspect that other programs don't focus on, which is the soft skills, right? Everybody can learn new technology and speak the jargon, but can they relay that um, the, from the business aspect and marry that to the technology solutions? And that program is so far second to none because I haven't seen any program yet in the market that ties in both the technical as well as the soft business skills that is necessary to be successful as an architect in the cloud space. I, I this program um, has been tremendous to me uh, when when I intended to uh, make the transition I had a, a one year plan uh, laid out of you know getting training getting certifications and then would essentially kind of hit the job market and start looking for a role but it accelerated my my progress I started the program in September uh, and I had no idea the first class I attended, I felt completely lost, but you know, the program is designed just for that. You can start wherever you are in your journey and in skills level. And uh, Mike has a way of bringing you in and make you part and make you part of the, the community. So it accelerated my progress because a month later, uh, I, I felt comfortable enough speaking to about the cloud. I had the hunger, the passion to continue learning. Uh, about it. So I did put extra time uh, even after the class, you know, going through the content, doing more research, trying new things um, because I wanted to be really good at it. And I, like I said, I had a one year plan. So it wasn't that I was actively looking, but just the, the, the other aspect of the training from make, you know, your LinkedIn profiles, LinkedIn content. I was getting um, recruiters reaching out to me and um, 45 days later, I, I interviewed for um, for Amazon and I felt prepared. I had interviewed with them in the past and wasn't successful, but just focusing on what Mike was, you know, harping on, whether, you know, how to present, how to speak, how to uh, approach um, the, the, the technology and the business aspect of it, the soft skills, it prepared me to be successful this time around for, for Amazon, which I, I'm working with for Amazon Web Services right now. So I, I was able to uh, achieve my goal in, uh, in less than 60 days, uh, which, uh, which is amazing because I, I didn't think I would be ready um, that quickly. But just the program itself and, and the community, different folks that I was able to partner with, learn from, definitely helped accelerate my success there. Absolutely. When I first joined the program, I expected there was going to be some pre-recorded content that I was going to be going through and pretty much just just me sitting behind my computer and kind of go through the content and up on completion, maybe I'll have an assessment and see where I was. But that was completely different. It is live classes at least two or three times a week. 
there were certain weeks there were additional content, uh, different uh, guests that would come on for either motivational or just overall encouraging us um, uh, in that journey. And through this community, I, I, I've i gained friendships, friendships that um, that I, I, I know will, will last for a long time. Uh, people that have similar interests, similar goals, uh, people that also motivate me to go at it a little bit harder, study, because they, you know, we gain study partners, study groups that we're able to create outside of the programs. And, um, and some of those um, members, you know, have also made the transition um, to, to AWS. And it's all these relationships would not have been possible if it wasn't for the community that GoCloud uh, created. Um, to to have like-minded individuals that are looking to either develop their career or just changing career or making their second career um, and just being in that community. Um, just overall, I, I feel um, motivated and accelerated by my success here and uh, will continue myself, continue to contribute back as well to the community, whether from a mentorship role or, or whatever ways I can be, I can help some other folks that are looking to uh, make their uh, their cloud journey a reality whether it's uh, with amazon directly or other cloud providers i would want to say to uh, anyone going through the program um, be patient um, don't feel like you have to be successful in a month or two just take your time uh, learn the program. There's some great content. Mike is giving you guys gems every every class. Focus on the soft skills. Practice. Don't be ashamed. Don't be shy to ask questions. This is the exact opportunity you need to make mistakes, and you're gonna learn through your mistakes. I made mistakes. I I I've, uh, I had to learn a lot, you know, very quickly um, through the program. Um, and it, I can say definitely, without the the training, without the mentorship without the, you know, raising my hand to answer a question, even if I was wrong and and got, got the coaching back that, you know, of what the right answer was, um, that, that helped me be in that position. So I encourage you to in the program, participate, do the assignments, and um, definitely participate when uh, on the live calls, when there's uh, scenarios and um, solutions. Don't be afraid to to be the one that, that, that that takes the that answers the question or raise your hand to do the role play with with your cohorts or or Mike because that's how you're gonna learn and that's how you'll be successful. Mm -hmm.